Today we're going to be figuring out if the GMMK Pro is still worth it in 2022. If at any point during the video you want to check out the GMMK Pro, you can click the product box over there in the left corner, but let's jump into it. Okay, so since the July 6, 2021 launch date of the GMMK Pro, we've seen many other competitors release their responses to this extremely popular board. Keychron launched the Q1 in direct response to the GMMK Pro. Then Acro released the Mod 007. All of these are 75% gasket mounted custom DIY kits with hot swap ability. So is the GMMK Pro even worth it anymore? Well, that's not a simple answer, but let's dive into it. Firstly, the gaskets. The GMMK Pro is gasket mounted. However, the gaskets basically do not move. It's incredibly rigid. That being said, gasket mounting this rather than mounting it to typical standoffs still helps considerably with the consistency of sound throughout the board. However, comparing the Mod 007 and especially the Keychron Q1, both have a huge amount of movement compared to the GMMK Pro. But, and I know I'm gonna get a ton of angry comments flooding at me, this didn't really change my overall satisfaction with the board. It changes the feeling for sure, but it doesn't make my experience better or worse switching from the Keychron Q1 to the GMMK Pro. So roast me, go ahead, but I stand by what I say. All right, the knob. This knob is good. Akko's knob is a much thicker metal. The whole thing is basically like one piece of metal while the GMMK's is plastic on the inside, but it still feels high quality. However, this has basically no wobble, which is freaking awesome. As well, when pressing the knob down, it feels insanely solid. This is really great for overall satisfaction while using this keyboard, and it's also very accurate while using it. Moving on to the one obvious thing that the GMMK Pro has that none of the direct competition has, and that is that side RGB. The left and right RGB strips are very clean with a nice diffused and consistent glow. They also get quite bright and light the left and right sides up at night. Being a gamer and a keyboard enthusiast, I absolutely love this. This was something that I did notice myself missing when using the Keychron Q1 and Mod 007. I know, I know, it's a small thing, but isn't that what custom keyboards are all about? All of those small things that slowly add up to bankruptcy? Let's get into the juicy stuff. No, not that kind of juicy. The sounds this baby makes. But before we go over that, you have to know what I did to build this. First, I took the board apart and disconnected the USB-C from the PCB. I then took apart the plate and PCB and added medical tape and dielectric grease to where the stabilizers sit. After this, I cleaned and re the stabilizers, then reinstalled them. Then I put the PCB and plate back together with the included dampener. I tape modded the bottom of the PCB, I highly recommend this, then put everything back together, keeping the included case foam as I didn't want the board to be filled up for acoustics. I then added lubed Gateron Black Ink V2s with Akko Ocean Blues on the function row. Then finished it off with Akko White on Black ASA Profile keycaps. Now I wanted to keep this mainly stock for comparison purposes. Now the stock stabilizers are screw-in stabilizers and they beat the competition having the best stabs for sure. Do keep in mind, I did re-lube all of the stabilizers. This is the GMMK Pro stabs with Gateron Black Ink V2s. Take a listen. Yeah, definitely the best compared to the Akko and the Keychron. But let's get into the full sound test because this is where it gets really interesting and it kind of blew me away. So take a listen. So yeah, it sounds good, but what's so interesting about that? Well, after using the other boards and swapping out switches and doing the exact same builds to them, this one, well, just sounded better. Now, better is subjective, yes, but the case is what's really responsible for the difference. The Keychron and the Akko sound good, they do, but this creates a much different sound than the rest of them with the same keycaps and switches. My girlfriend's first reaction when using all of them was, this one sounds way better. Yeah, this one sounds way better. Okay. So the case makes for a deeper, thocky sound. The others are higher pitched. Now, obviously, if you like a poppy or a clacky keyboard, the others are better for that. But I believe the majority of you like that thocky sound. The GMMK Pro is still the best between the competition for that thocky sound. 
but what about direct quality of the case? And this is where the Glorious kind of falls behind a little bit. Now, it is nice. It's nice and heavy. It's got an overall nice, clean design. However, when you compare it to something like the Acomog 007 with its beautiful machined edges and craftsmanship that is just really amazing at 150 bucks. Yeah, the GMMK Bro definitely falls behind. And the Keychron Q1 I think is a little bit better with build quality than the GMMK Pro. It's got an overall nicer, more expensive design. It has these etched edges right here. And the overall quality of the paint just feels better than this. That being said, this may not look as nice as the Akko or the Keychron in terms of material, but in my opinion, it sounds better. You'll just have to weigh which one is more important to you if you like that Thaki sound. But what was even the reason that the GMMK Pro was so popular to begin with? That's easy, money. Wait, where did these glasses come from? Whatever. More specifically, fantastic in-stock value. So let's talk price. The GMMK Pro is $170 for the bare bones kit. The Akko Mod 007 is $150, and the Keychron is $160 for the knob version, but they charge an insane $30 shipping fee, so really, the GMMK Pro puts itself right between the Mod 007 and the Keychron Q1 at $150, $170, and $190 respectively. Even though the GMMK Pro is fairly old now, it holds its own in not only design and acoustics, but also value. And if I had to pick only one of these keyboards to live with every day, it would be the GMMK Pro. Again, if you wanna check out the GMMK Pro, you can click the product box right over there in the left corner. That being said, if you want a flexi gasket mount and more beautiful build quality, check out this video right here. The Akko Mod 007 gives you an FR4 plate as well as a color matched aluminum plate for less than all of the competition. And I I highly recommend it if you're on the market for a new board. But this was Consumer Tech Review, and I'll see you guys in the next video.